before we start the video, I want to take this time to shout out my KOG member of the month, Ryan McDonough. Big thanks for being a loyal KOG member. If you want your name here, consider hitting that join button for exclusive channel benefits. Uh, like I said, 10,200. That's pretty insane right there, dude. How's it going, guys? RNG Life here, and today, Aster is here, or professional Aster. Uh, actually... I legit got caught off guard by this. I did not know he was coming today. I was already working on like two videos ahead of time and then someone in the comments uh, told me and I was like, holy crap, I didn't even know Astro was here. So uh, fortunately, he's super easy to farm. He's not very, very strong. Uh, and it, I already had a few decks and I'm, that just immediately bamboozle him and it's pretty nice. So I'll be showing you those decks in a second. Uh, but for now, we're gonna look at his cards briefly. I think he's only bringing like two or three new cards. So let's see, he's got D-Mind, which is the UR he's offering, and this card is actually pretty good. I like it. Uh, so D-Mind, I don't know if it's going to be seeing meta play, but it can literally summon a Doom Lord from your deck, because uh, it could summon any Destiny Hero Monster as long as, or any level 3 or lower Destiny Hero Monster, if you control no Destiny Heroes. Now that's the that's the line, you control no Destiny Hero. That means your, fi your field can have like two monsters of different types. And as long as they're not Destiny Heroes, you can summon a Doom Lord from the deck, use his ability, put him in attack position, obviously, uh, and then use his ability to banish one of your opponent's card, monsters. Uh, and it's pretty nice. It's, it's pretty good. I kind of like that. Not even gonna lie. So D-Mind looks pretty good. Uh, we also have D-Time, which I think looks okay, but I don't know, dude. It says, uh, when an elemental hero monster you control leaves the field, add one Destiny Hero monster from your deck to your hand whose less level is less than or equal to the elemental hero monster's level. So, I don't know about this one. I guess it's okay, it's a searcher, but I feel like it's a bit slow and you do have to be running E heroes and destiny heroes. So, I don't know, dude. I think it's a bit convoluted, but it looks all right, I guess. I think he's now offering Captain Tenacious. So, there you go. Now you can get multiple copies of that guy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the decks we're going to be using to farm this lad. Okay, first things first, we got U Bell. I want to get the U Bell option out of the way on this one. Uh, yes, it is possible to farm with U Bell, and actually, it's very easy to farm you with U Bell. This is my preferred deck, but I'm going to be showing off a different deck because uh, I think last time on the last farm, I just, I just went for the U Bell option. Yes, you can use Ubell. It will work. Cool. Now, here's the other deck that I'm using. So, so today, I'm going to be using my Cloudian Farm. Now, this is using a Winged Dragon of Raw. So, the Raw is the boss monster. Uh, you're eventually just going to summon Raw, attack him, deal immense damage. GG, you win. Uh, so, here's what the deck is supposed to do. You have these little cloudy boys who do not get destroyed by battle. Now, if you have your Sanctuary in the Sky, they are unkillable and you don't take damage. Awesome. Now, I, I, um, I am running these cards that work specifically with Sanctuary in the Sky. I do know a lot of you newer players probably will not have these cards because for whatever reason, Konami just does not reprint these. Like, they, they don't want people to have these. Uh, but yeah, they're from like a really, really old Taya event. And uh, you might not even have a uh, Zeradias, actually, who is uh, your searcher for uh, your Sanctuary in the Sky. If you do not have these cards, uh, if you don't have these, you can actually run Ultimate Providus instead. That one still kind of works. I mean, you, you're going to negate a uh, monster effect by discarding a monster. And in which case, uh, you're going to need more monsters. And I recommend running uh, Altus. Uh, Altus is pretty good. Uh, maybe even other Cloudian support, like that Cloudian Squall card uh, that I usually run because I like pumping my monsters up full of counters so they can just keep popping my opponent's stuff and bouncing them back and doing a bunch of annoying stuff to them. Uh, so you can do that. I'm running these cards, so it's pretty decent. I'm also running two copies of Golden Ladybug. You could you could just say screw it and cut the Ladybugs out because we are using Fairy Smile. Uh, fairy Smile can, means every time you draw a fairy, you gain a thousand uh, life points. Now I'm using this with Blair because I want to farm skills with Blair, so cool, but if you do not have Blair or, or you don't have the Skill Fairy Smile, you might have it with Jesse. I think Jesse is the only other character that has it in GX uh, that I'm aware of. I'm not too sure, but yeah, go ahead and check Jesse. Uh, he could have it as well. Um, and then I'm also running Good Goblin Housekeeping, which is a really good card for draw power. I'm using this just to basically just go through my deck as, as quick as possible. It, this, this card is actually pretty good eventually, uh, after the first one activates uh so yeah that's the deck it's pretty easy now let's go ahead and farm this lad
there for you. Now I'm ready to dive in. Take it in some hell for sure. Cause this is the way I am. Special patterns deep inside me. Lose yourself and kill me. All right, so you guys saw the other farm. You guys saw Ubel, how it works. It's very quick, very easy. Now I'm going to be showing you another version, another different farm, and this one's going to be live. All right, so, and I'm, I'm assuming most of you guys know how Ubel works, but, ooh, this hand is interesting. Uh, this hand is definitely interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be healing a lot. So here's, here's how I can play this. I have Sanctuary in the Sky. I could summon Zeradius, and Zeradius could just kind of beat down. Um, that I can do. He could be used to stall. I also have these two goblins, so I'm going to be setting these, and I need them for draw power. Uh, normally, I use Zeradius as much as possible, but in this situation, since I don't have monsters, I'm going to summon him. I don't want him pulling off a fusion on me, hitting me for like 28 and then a 16 or something, and just completely bamboozling me. Yeah, that, would, that would not be good. So we're going to go ahead and just battle. I'm gonna attack his thing. Now, I normally don't have to battle. I normally don't have to do much. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna go for Ferris. Now, the thing is, he's using cards from the new uh, box. So he is using Ferris, which is kind of interesting. He's using Ferris and Increase. Uh, so, oh, he actually chose Poisoner. What a, what a fool. All right, so this is what I was talking about. He can go for the Fusion. He's gonna go Adoration. Now, this is the reason why I didn't leave my field empty. Because I didn't want him summoning a big monster and then just messing me up. Uh, go ahead and take the monster. That's fine. I just need to draw a little cloudy boy. Uh, so draw. There it is. There's the exact cloudy boy I needed. So fairy smile is also going to give me a nice an appeal right there. So that's awesome. Golden ladybug is going to also activate. So that's pretty cool. Now here's the thing. I could use my uh, good goblin just to put something back. In this situation, I might actually put back ladybug. But... I think I'm going to hold off. I'm, I'm going to hold off on that one. I think I'm just going to summon my little cloud, and I'm going to chill. Uh, I would like to draw my tr my counter trap to just negate his, uh, what's his name, that one guy that attacks me and pops my field spell. Yeah, I don't like it when he does that. So we might do something about that eventually, but for now, that's the guy I'm worried about. Okay, this is the exact guy I'm worried, worried about. So let's see what he can do. Attacks, no damage. Actually, does he deal damage? I haven't had him actually... Yes, yeah, so now it's going to get dangerous. 16 and 28. Okay, this guy's really pushing the envelope right now. It's getting kind of scary. So I need the Ladybug to, to get a, a nice quick heal right now. Sanctuary in the Sky is a really good pickup, though. Um, unfortunately, not that good because he's just going to pop it again. So I will definitely put it back. So uh, Ladybug's activated. Let's go ahead and chain our good Goblin. Now I'm going to not chain the other one. I need this to activate. I drew a Surastratus. That's really nice. Let's put this back into the deck. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I really, really need uh, something else right now. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and activate this good goblin once again, drawing multiple. There you are. I drew the Divine Punishment. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to put back this Acid Cloud right now. Um, yeah, it's not bad. So I needed this. Like, I just need that card. Now I can go ahead and summon you. Uh, I can use the effect of Cirrostratus over here to pop. I'm going to get rid of this guy. Because I do not want him having just, just general power over me. So, yeah. So far, it's it's not doing... We're not doing the best. This is a, this is a more of a worst case scenario. Because uh, he just had way too much advantage to start with. So, Ladybug is going to keep me healing. So, that's pretty nice. I'm going to have this uh, good goblin. So, I'm going to draw a lot next turn. Uh, and I think I'm good. I'm not going to attack him. That would be completely foolish uh and i don't want to do that so now he's gonna have that guy that's fine go ahead dude he'll deal a little bit more damage this time all right cool so 700 plus the other one all right cool uh so worst case scenario situation over let's start drawing and let's start actually doing something with these uh life points and whatever so uh let's start using our good goblin right now i'm gonna have to draw like three cards or something so yeah draw a lot uh let's put 
Wing Dragon and Raw back immediately. Alright, so very nice. Now I can actually do stuff. Um, one thing I definitely want to do is pop this, this, this guy. Celestial, the bane of my existence in this deck. He only has one copy of uh, Celestial, so I should be fine once I get rid of one of them. Uh, also, he, he's kind of annoying because if I pop him, he, he gets the draw and it's, it just becomes an extra, a little bit extra annoying. But it doesn't really matter because I'm getting a lot of draws. So, yeah. That guy is gone. Also, hey, look at this. Beautiful Sanctuary. Uh, I'm going to set this as well, and I'm going to basically say, okay, I'm done. And there it is. Alright, last draw. Ladybugs giving me them heals. Very, very good. Actually, that's perfect. It added up perfectly, dude. Uh, so now let's go ahead and activate Acid Cloud. Let's pop his back row because I don't want you to have back row. Very cool. My turn. Wait, is this glossy? Yeah, that's glossy. I'm going to activate it. So, there we go. Activating all the glossy points and whatever. Now I'm going to go ahead and summon my raw, my, my Egyptian god. Who would have known that little Blair over here? Could summon Egyptian gods. Uh, so cool, effective raw, <laughs> lowering our life points an insane amount, uh, and yeah, that's all we really need. That's all that matters. So, as you can see, worst case scenario, he destroyed me in the beginning. I still beat him. I still successfully farmed him. Uh, and even then, you don't even need to like, you don't even need to hit over 10k actually, because you have the campaign bonus and a few other things. So you'll still get 8k. Trust me. Uh, so pretty good and that's the farm. Let's go ahead and check on that score. All right, let's see what we got uh, Like I said 10,200 that's pretty insane right there, dude And we managed to get an SR D time and it's glossy. So that's very very eloquent uh, So there you go guys. Let me know what you guys think of the farms uh, And well, let me know which one you prefer and if you guys know any other farms I mean send them my way my, my dudes. I actually kind of want to know uh, Because I'm probably gonna default and use you bell because it's the quickest and it's, it's like the most foolproof manner. This one could potentially fail. But this is for people who just don't have U-Bell. They don't have all the things. But if you have U-Bell, run U-Bell. Trust me. Uh, but whatever. That's pretty much that. If you if you enjoyed that, please consider subscribing. Helps out the channel a lot. And uh, like the video because this is how we, we this is how we grow. If you like the video, the, the video gets recommended more and so on and so forth. So uh, if you want if you want your boy to grow, eh, hook me up with that with that like, dude. I would appreciate that. But whatever, that's pretty much it. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Dueling Shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day and see